if there's something that, of this importance that's come out and nobody's talking about it, the media is not talking about it, then you have to ask yourself, what is going on? Why is the media not talking about this? Why are they not covering something so critical? False news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media Why wasn't there every major broadcast station out there covering it? More voices are better than the uh, single voices. It isn't really the government that's doing it. The government is simply the facade that people look at. Simply the puppet show that the people have got to try to find their way through the system and really it's just a puppet show. Why didn't the media talk about that? Why didn't they cover that? Because there is such a thing as fake media. Go ahead. No, not you. Not you. Your organization's terrible. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. Go ahead. And really, that's always been the number one name of the game, folks, distraction. That's what the media's main game is. That's what the government's main game is. Just keep people distracted so they do not notice what is going on around them. Journalism is not a perfect exercise. It's a, it's a human endeavor, so we will make mistakes. I don't even know how they can call themselves journalists because there's absolutely no sentiment whatsoever about having integrity. This is the type of stuff that they're trying to create. This is the type of propaganda that they're pushing. And this is the reason that we have to become aware and know what the agenda is. Now, this information, this misinformation that's out there, this misinformation propaganda, the diversion, the distraction, preventing you from knowing the truth. Why would the media do this? This is the misinformation, distraction, diversion tactics from taking the real information that's empowering and trying to scare more people to try to make you paralyzed. By, by trying to take away your power, your autonomy. Only on John now, Bigger. Why would anybody do this? What could be the hidden agenda? Well, the hidden agenda is right here, guys. It's part and parcel of their agenda for the misinformation campaign. And they don't want you to know what the truth is. There's a world community that's getting this information. So this is applicable to every human being on the planet. Okay, we all are sovereign. We all have our own autonomy. It's going to be a unbelievably bad reality if we allow those who are controlling the system to roll this out and if it continues and it does get rolled out then the kids growing up into this system the kids growing up in the future are not going to have any reference point for what freedom once looked like or what freedom may have looked like they're not going to have any reference point to know what humanity once was they're just not going to know folks they're not going to know what it's like to think independently. They're not going to know what it's like to have their own creative potential and to be able to experience that, to experience the world the way it really is. None of this is going to happen for the generations that are coming up if we allow this system to come online. And the thing is that it's coming online now. It's coming online through our passive acceptance of this convenience society. But how do you alert people to this? Because like I said, what's going on... And Apart from all the division and all the fighting that we've got in the independent media and everybody arguing amongst themselves, it's people's failure to pay attention and their passive acceptance of all this is creating the problem. But really it's not just the acceptance, it's not just people's compliance to the system. It's everything. It's the distrust that we see that is spread so rampantly amongst the truth community and independent media now. And it's also the memes that have infected people's minds whatever this world comes from, I mean, I think it has the potential to be very, very wonderful were we only to pay attention to that. And I think it's our failure to do so that keeps it all going, folks. But, you know, even these people could stop using this system. They could stop participating in it now. If people stop participating in it, then it can't come online. It can't lead us to what this inevitable conclusion is going to be. Things have been rolling out in this direction for a very long time, folks, but what they really want to do is transfer consciousness into AI, and they're pretty well there. They're pretty well at the point they can do it. They've just got to find a way of creating public acceptance of this happening. And if the public aren't prepared to accept it, well, they'll just trick them Only into on it. Only on Johnny Bigger. And that's what's happening. 
And I think it's quite important that people wake up to this. I really do. It's not a very good future that we're allowing to be rolled out in front of us, folks. And the only people who can stop it is us. You know, it's our generation that has to turn this around because, as I said earlier, the kids aren't going to be able to because they're not going to have any reference point for what freedom actually looks like. So it's up to us to do it. And the window of opportunity for that to happen is closing very quickly. So I would suggest people pay attention while they still can. A lot of good information being brought to people but being polluted by bad information and just a lot of plants that have come into the movement as well. It isn't really the government that's doing it. The government is simply the facade that people look at, simply the puppet show that the people have got to try to find their way through the system and really it's just a puppet show. And the more stuff they can put out there to keep people fighting and arguing and keep people distracted by the political circus, then the more they're going to do it, I think. I think that's what a lot of this is about. Just keep people guessing and keep people distracted and keep people from paying attention to what is going on in their everyday lives. And really that's always been the number one name of the game, folks, distraction. That's what the media's main game is, that's what the government's main game is, just keep people distracted so they do not notice what is going on around them. And the really disturbing thing is that there are very, very few people that are talking about this electromagnetic system. There are very, very few people that are talking about this electromagnetic control group. And I don't think this is because people are attempting to cover it up. I think people simply aren't noticing it. They're just taking too much of this stuff in their daily lives for granted, and they're not really seeing where it's leading to. There's not enough people connecting the dots between the nanotechnology and the chemtrails and the smart grid because it's all connected, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I think they're ramping things up so much in the world now. They're making sure that there's so much to deal with because this whole system is being rolled out around us. So you ask why we are seeing so much theatre in the world? Why we are seeing such complete political theatrics right across the Western world in all of our political systems, folks? And so many issues... And nobody's noticing it because of all of the theatre that we're being subject to at the moment. All the social theatre, the political theatre, the theatres of war, everything, folks. There's so much stuff coming at us from so many directions. And people simply aren't seeing the forest for the trees. I mean, a lot of people are. And a lot of people are addressing a lot of really important issues. And it's important that all these issues are addressed. But it's also, I believe, extremely important that people pay attention to what's going on around them at the same time. And we have to stop this being rolled out, folks, because because once this gets rolled out, it's going to be very, very difficult to roll it back. And once this does come online, then it's really going to lock us down. It's going to prevent us from being able to do the type of research that we can do now. It's going to present us from being able to present the type of information that we're presenting to people now. And the way this society has been trained to discard anybody who rebels against the system, anybody who's seen as being below the poverty line, these are the scum of the earth, you don't want them, and all they have to do to put you below the poverty line is to black jacket you, cut off your digital access to everything, and suddenly you can't pay your bills, and because it's an economically based society, well, you're out in the cold. That's just the way it goes. And that's what they have the capability of doing once this system comes online if people don't pay attention Only on to what John is happening. Bigger. You know, I know we've got a lot of issues to deal with. We've got a lot of stuff on the ground. We've been deceived by so many people on so many levels in this truth movement, in this resistance. There's been such a mishmash of conspiracy theories just interjected into all of it to turn it into a sideshow. You know, every time we thought we've got some sort of a response and some sort of a valid point that we can push forward and maybe get some attention drawn to it, it gets distracted. It gets sidetracked into some other issue which is just people design arguing amongst the details all the time rather than paying attention to the bigger picture and we have to pay attention to the bigger picture folks we really do you know and really stepping back and looking at all this folks there's a lot of forces out there that are working for good at the moment as well there really are there's a lot of good things happening there's a lot of bad stuff happening but there's a lot of good stuff happening as well Sure, the mainstream media isn't reporting it and maybe there's deeper plays going on and blah, 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 and people have got to be careful, and I know, I know how it goes. But still, you know, it's just interesting to watch how it's unfolding. But I can't help thinking that so much of it is theatre. The problem I find is that people won't stop fighting amongst each other long enough to be able to do that. You know, we never get a chance to examine anything properly because as soon as anybody questions anything everybody else believes in, it turns into an argument a mudslinging match, a series of ad hominem attacks or 
whatever. And we've just got to put all this stuff down and agree to disagree and engage in some respectful conversation. I think that would make all the difference to the problems that we're facing. It will make all the difference to the future that we're creating because ultimately it's us that is creating this future. It's a collective thing. And please consider putting down some of the infighting that so many people are promoting on the internet these days. There are so many people that are spreading so much toxic energy and we really do need some unity and we need some focus, folks. So please try to consider some of these things. You know, I think we do have a way out of this mess, folks, if we can just get a little bit of focus. And we've got to put down all of this animosity and all of this infighting. We've got to unite in respectful conversation and figure a way out of this mess and realize that there are no leaders coming. We have to lead ourselves. That's what this is all about. That's what it's always been about. And now's the time that we can do it. So... So let's get this focus, friends. I mean, I think that if we get this focus, we're going to find that freedom actually comes quite easy and quite naturally. Enlightenment is a destructive process. It's a breaking down of everything we thought to be true. And I think that we're seeing some real enlightenment happen now for even to those who don't particularly want to be enlightened. I think that the truth is becoming painfully obvious for many, many people and many people are seeing how they've been led by so many forces, especially on Only the internet. On and I think that there is some real light dawning on the horizon if we can get a little bit of focus. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video.